So to import new contacts into your Bravo account, you're gonna click on contacts and then we're gonna go to the top right corner over here where we import new contacts. I'm gonna click on it and then we have four options. In this case, we're gonna import new contacts. I'm gonna click on continue. And in this case, we're gonna import from a file. I'm gonna click on it. And now we can upload a file to import into our Bravo account. So I'm using a Google spreadsheet to create my file. You can also use Excel. So I'm gonna import some sample data. So I'm gonna click on file. I'm gonna click on import. I'm gonna click on upload. And I'm gonna choose the sample data file. So the sample data file is uploading. And in this case, I'm gonna choose replace spreadsheet, detect automatically, and then this is the default settings are fine. I'm gonna click on import data. And as you can see, we have a couple of columns over here. So we have the contact ID, the email address, first name, last name, SMS, landline number, and the WhatsApp number. So obviously if you need more data, if you need more columns, you can add them. And over here you can add multiple contacts, of course. So let's say you're coming from a different email marketing tool. So let's say you're coming from MailChimp. If you want, you could add a column called MailChimp, for example, and then add something like this, import MailChimp. So you always know that these contacts came from your MailChimp import. So the moment you're ready with your file, we're gonna export the file. So I'm gonna click on file, and then we're gonna go to downloads, and I'm gonna choose this option over here. So the CSV file, I'm gonna click on it, and now it is downloading onto my computer. We're gonna go back to Bravo, and now we're gonna drag and drop that file we just downloaded into our Bravo account. So I just uploaded the file, as you can see, and now we can see a preview of our file. I'm gonna click on confirm your file, and now we're gonna map the data. So as you can see, some data is already mapped correctly. So for example, the email is already mapped correctly with the contact attribute inside Bravo. So for example, here it says the email. This is already mapped with the correct email ID, so email inside Bravo, similar to the first name, the last name. It already connected the country as well, as you can see, so SMS because of the land code over here. But as you can see, Bravo didn't recognize every data point. So for example, the MailChimp uh, that we added at the end there, it says do not import. And that is because there is no contact attribute inside Bravo for this particular uh, data point. So if we do want to add this one, and we obviously do since we added that to our spreadsheet, I'm gonna click on add a new attribute. And now we can choose what kind of attribute we want to use. So in this case, I'm gonna use the text attribute and I'm gonna call this MailChimp just like how I call it over here. And I'm gonna click on create. Over here we have another one, so the contact ID. So let's say we want to add that as well. We're gonna go to add a new attribute. It already recognizes it as a number, so that's fine. So I'm gonna call that contact ID. I'm gonna click on create. So the moment we're done mapping, we're gonna click on confirm mapping. And now we have to select a list where we want to add those contacts to. So if you already created a list where you want to add those contacts to, you can select that list uh, over here. If you didn't create that list yet, you can create a new list. So for example, you can also call that list MailChimp import. So as you can see, and this is pretty nice, Bravo allows you to create folders for the different lists you create so you can organize your list. So I'm gonna click on create list and I'm gonna say confirm your list. So then we're at the stage of finalizing our import and here we can choose to update the attributes of the existing contacts. So let's say if some of these email addresses are already in our database inside Bravo, we can update them if we want. So I'm gonna leave this at default. And then lastly, we have the opt-in agreement. And if we don't enable this option, we cannot confirm the import since email marketing is not for cold outreach. So I'm gonna enable this option and I'm gonna click on confirm your import. So we only add three contacts, as you can see. So three new contacts have been added to my Bravo account. And if we open one contact, we can now see all the details of that particular contact. So what I shared in this video is just one of the many topics I cover in my Bravo course called Bravo University. And I basically want to show you everything Bravo can do, like using the form builder. I want to show you Bravo segmentation builder, the CRM features Bravo offers. So basically all of Bravo's features you see on the left-hand side on the dashboard.